Are you awake? <laughs> Are you awake? Alrighty, hello everybody, Steve Wagon here, and welcome to Vampire's Melody. I'm gonna be honest, no idea when I got this, how I got this. I don't know if it was free, I don't know if it was a sale, but it was on here. It was on here, and I am going to play it. No idea what's going to happen. Probably something with a vampire. Probably something with music. No idea. So let's just hop in and find out. Little picture. Alrighty. Vampire's Melody. And it's raining. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Pata Pata. Oh, pat up, pat up, pat up, pat up. Rain. I thought it was saying like a name or something. <laughs> Damn, Norlian. Stop. Stop. Norlian. Who's talking right now? <laughs> Behind me, at least five Yarlians are yelling those words at the top of their voices. They are referring to me as the Damn Norlian, and my nerves are on edge from the way they roar like hunters chasing a prey. Stop! I don't dare to look back. It can only flee like a hunted animal running for its life, along with the cold raindrops hitting me relentless, relent, relentlessly. Crack! Thunder booms in the distance. The flash of lightning splits the gray sky into two halves, and the raindrops gradually resemble a glass wall. Whoosh! Although the Yarlians' muskets are ineffective under the heavy rain, their crossbows are still deadly. Crossbow bolts whiz past me under the heavy rain along with their cries. I'm sorry, muskets and, and crossbows? Forget where are we, when are we? <laughs> Stop, or else you're dead! In fact, they don't need to threaten me. I can't run much further. Every joint and tendon in my body hurts so much, and my wet clothes are sticking to me like a form of binding, making it difficult to move. Ah, Raylan. Suddenly, I realize my foot has slipped, and I fall down hard on the muddy ground. Let it end this way. I give up. I'm too tired. I just want to close my eyes and wake up after a good sleep. As the rain pitter patters around me, the footsteps come closer from behind. Those sounds probably signal the end of my life. Suddenly, flashbang. A few streaks of lightning flash across the night sky. Although my eyes are closed, I can still see those flashes of light through my thin eyelids. Closely followed by thunder screaming from above. Unusual cries of anguish reach my ears amid the lightning and thunder. Ah! Ah! M Monster! Ah! Monster! Come on, man. Say something original. Ah! What? What is going on? Don't tell me it's a wild beast. Upon realizing this possibility, a wave of fear seeps, sweeps across, and I can't help shivering. Is it a wild beast? Or a Yarlian frightening? At least a Yarlian speaks the same language and shares the same religious beliefs as me. We may be at odds over a gold mine now, but at least I'll still die with dignity if I fall into their hands. However, it is not up to me to decide whether I live or die at this point. The only thing I can do is to lie on the mud and wait for my death. But I wonder what happened to Mr. Cook. Did he escape? At first, we thought that everything would go well when we opened our own restaurant after arriving in the new continent. 
Sigh. This blasted war. What is going on right now? <laughs> okay. We're in the rain. We're new to this continent. We're being chased by someone. They are currently being devoured by a wild animal or something else. And I am waiting on the ground to die. Not a good start. <laughs> Not a good start to this life. The lightning, pers the lightning persists and rainwater keeps flowing across the ground. In addition, what happened to the Yarlians? The Yarlians, who were in hot pursuit earlier. Sound as if they got devoured within a short time and stopped uttering anything. No matter how hard I strain my ears, I can only detect the sound of rain and lightning around me. Oh no. I quickly opened my eyes and struggled to get up from the mud. I don't want to get ripped apart by a wild beast. I have to hurry up and run while it is making a meal out of those Yarlians. I decide to run away from the direction where those Yarlians' cries came from. But a sharp pain ensues across my left leg after barely taking a few steps. Maybe I injured myself when I fell down just now. I have no choice but to hobble along slowly. Swishing sounds occasionally come from the surrounding area, but I can't tell if they are the sound of raindrops hitting leaves or a wild beast fur brushing against the foliage. Another flashbang. Crack! Another lightning flashes across the rainy night sky, closely followed by a loud, loud thunderclap. The ground feels as if it is shaking. Everything suddenly turns white, and my ears are ringing. I can't hear anything for a while. Oh, fire. Lovely. Gradually, my vision recovers, and I can see lights from a fire nearby. It probably started with that lightning just now. Under such terrible conditions at night, Light from a fire signifies hope, but it is also a forest fire, and a fire nonetheless should probably run away. Ooh. Oh, I get choices? It's been a while since I had a choice in a game. <laughs> this is too conspicuous. Maybe I should remain in the darkness. Go to the fire. Is the fire... Is it... Was it caused by the lightning? Is it a forest fire? Signifies hope. Who am I to deny hope? Am I gonna die? My instincts urge me to approach the fire. It is a small patch of foliage that got ignited by lightning. Despite the heavy rain, the small fire is burning steadily. I can stay alight for at least half an hour. You can tell all that? As long as I stay near the fire, any frightening beast hiding in the darkness won't come over. I comfort myself in the heat, in my heart. At least I can also recover from... Recover some of my stamina now that my body feels stiff. Oh. As I'm about to get closer to the fire, my left leg refuses to obey me. I extend my hand hastily to lean against a tree for support, but I touch thin air instead. Surprisingly... My goodness! I have lost count of the number of times I fell down, but the ground feels... It is actually dry. Oh. Oh, okay. This. Okay, interesting. I get up with my eyes wide open. From the illumination provided by the fire outside, I realize I have fallen into a hole on a tree. And I'm not the only one here. A girl is lying quietly inside. Huh? Uh, hey, are are you all right? Although my unpleasant brush with death tonight should have left me feeling numb towards anything that happened by chance, the scene inside this opening is still quite a surprise for me. Hello? The girl is curled up with her back facing the tree's opening. She has attractive long silvery hair that barely covers her pure white cheeks, and her skin looks so delicate 
It might... It might crumble if the wind blows across. Hello? I raise my voice again, but the girl still isn't responding. She's went. Where are you looking at, my guy? <laughs> oh, where are you looking at? She's wearing a black dress with white frills and a blood red sash around the waist. Its style and craftsmanship deserves praise. The girl certainly doesn't come from an ordinary family. Wake up! Hey! I tried to shake her, but her eyes remained closed, as if she were a soulless mannequin. Ah! It hurts! Not only did I fail to wake her up, but I have also aggravated the injury on my left leg that had hurt so much, and I end up sitting on the floor after falling down. Now I notice my left leg has an open wound after it got stabbed by a tree branch earlier. And it is still bleeding. Oh, oh. my god, guy. Should probably get that fixed. Forget it. I'm fighting for my life. I sigh and take off my backpack to use as a temporary bandage for my wound. Mr. Cook gave me this backpack. Gave this backpack to me as a present not too long ago. Before we came to this mountain, we'd even agree to fill our backpacks with fresh produce before going back. Looks like this is only a dream. Never mind. As long as one can survive, there is always a way. I shake my head to clear those unhappy thoughts and steal myself to cut the backpack with a bill hook and turn the pack into a few strips of cloth. If I can live, ah. Oh, it's, oh, that's not a relief. Uh, it's more of an, ah. I endure the acute pain to fasten the strips of cloth securely across the wound on my left leg. Whew. I breathe a sigh of relief after bandaging my wound and glance at the girl who is still in a deep sleep. She doesn't seem to have any visible wounds or signs of injury, but how come she's sleeping here and won't wake up? I crawl across carefully and place my finger across her nose. Why? <laughs> Okay, I understand you're trying to wake her up, you know, but you tried earlier. You tried you tried shaking her, right? Doing a whole egg. Wake up, lady! There's danger! But what am I doing? I crawl across carefully and place my finger across her nose. Are you awake? <laughs> Are you awake? How does that help it? Oh. My hand is still numb after it got drenched by the rain earlier and the girl's breathing feels quite shallow, and I can't tell whether she's still alive. Missy, these are exceptional circumstances. There's no other way. Sorry about that. Hey, yo, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, I ain't doing this. I ain't doing this. I decide to press my ear against her chest to see if I can hear any heartbeats, even though it is somewhat improper. Hey, stop getting closer. Stop getting closer. As I lean my head across, a painful stinging suddenly, sensation suddenly occurs at my neck, and this feeling quickly spreads to the rest of my body. Oh, that was a prologue. Ow? It's so cold, and so tiring. I wonder how much longer do I need to run before I can elude them. Where are you? Mr. Cook. Rumble. What's that sound? How come there is such a frightening sound? What kind of monster is after me? Rumble. That sound is getting louder. Like, really loud. It is approaching. Rumble. It is getting louder. What sort of frightening monster is that? I have to run. But my legs won't move. Hurry up. And move! Why am I still so close? Ah! I wake up. I wake. I wake up while thrashing about. So, it's just a dream. Thank God, man. Man's backed up. I don't see any monster in front of me. But that girl is still there. Sound asleep. 
right. It's her. I rub my head and remember I had eluded the Yarlians after being pursued by them last night. Then it came here when lightning started a fire and fell into an opening on a tree by accident. Thank you for the play-by-play -play replay. What had just happened like a minute ago? Don't need it. <laughs> my, my, my brain ain't that bad. And then... But I seem to have no recollection of what happened after that. As if any memories of that part got erased. Why do I sleep overnight? Why did I sleep overnight here? Ah, yes. I got injured. Maybe I passed out from loss of blood? I instinctively feel around my left leg. The bandages are gone, but my leg doesn't have any signs of injury at all. Strange. I don't remember it's my left- I remember it's my left leg. I feel around my right leg at the same time, and that leg has no signs of injury either. We're cured! <laughs> I guess. Rumble! That frightening noise in my dream suddenly reaches my ears again while I'm racking my brain. Brains over it. Oh no. Don't tell me that monster isn't from my dreams. Wake up! Quick! That terrifying noise sounds really close, and I might not have enough time to escape if I don't run at once. I hurriedly shake that girl while she's still fast asleep. Oh! Oh shit, we got, we got voices? Lady, there's danger outside! Wake up! The girl is responding this time. Also, hang on. That's not what I want. And you? Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, real quick. Low chart. Options. Volume. I'm going to be turning some of this stuff down. Hold on. Okay. I just don't want it everything too loud. But I also don't want it too quiet. That should be fine. The girl is responding this time, surprisingly. She seems to be growling in annoyance after being woken up. Her voice is sweet and clear, yet she looks irritated and she pushes my hands away. You're, you've finally woken up. Get up, quickly. There's a monster. We need to run. Huh? Okay, I guess I don't need to voice her. Awesome. You know what? Oh, that, that is great. It's a, it's a relaxing sensation on the vocal cords today. The girl rubs her eyes, and I'm stunned by her purple demonic eyes for an instant. Purple? It looked more pinkish than purple, but I, I guess I can see it. It's so pretty. No, I said there's a monster. Lady, get up. Monster? Monster? Okay. Oh, no, no, no. That's that's not what I wanted. So about what I said, I don't know if I should keep it. Should I keep it? You know what? For now? For now, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it for now. You guys can tell me whether or not you like it or not. If you don't, I can just take it off, throw in my own thing. But for now, for now, for now, we'll keep it, you know? It's fine. I think it's fine. Monster, are you an idiot? Who are you? Why are you here? Why am I reading this? The girl's voice is shriller. I can also detect anger and hostility in her questioning. Die, die, die. I'm railing. <clears throat> Sorry. It wasn't intentional. I'm from Nor. I ran here to escape from some trouble. Ah, we have no time to ex to talk about all these. So listen up. I nearly told her I'm a Norlian. Yes, I'm so. Yes, I'm also worried that she may be a Yarlian and give me trouble. Who are Norlians and Yarlians? Why do we care? Escape from trouble. And what do you want? Why am I reading? I mean... What do you want me to hear? Monster! Eh? What's going on? 
I'm quite certain I heard a rumbling noise as a short while ago. <laughs> okay. Lady. Not a coward. Thank you very much. Hurtful. Rude. Go away. You know what? This is my tree trunk now. Get out of here. <laughs> no, it's true. It was nearby just now. I swear. I've never heard such frightening sounds before in my entire life. I didn't lie to you. It might even be lurking somewhere in one corner while looking at us for its, ne as its, for its next meal. Last night, it had several Yarlians for supper. Okay, you know what? Fine. I'll just leave. You can stay here. Get eaten. The girl closes her eyes again. Looks like she doesn't care about Yarlians. I want to open my mouth. Yes, I can't find anything to say. Don't tell me I was too much on edge and started to hallucinate. Maybe it stop, stop. Shame. Maybe I should follow her advice by resting quickly before making any plans to leave the mountain and look for Mr. Cook. So I find a spot in one corner and shut my eyes to recuperate. Likewise. Rumble. Listen. Listen. It's here. I jump with my feet sliding against the floor. Wake up. Get up, lady. Yeah, no doubt. There's a monster. The girl opens her eyes and furrows her brows. What's the point in sleeping? We should run. Quickly. You know, you could... Settle. Are you a fool? Upon hearing her words, I grab her hand and shake it for a while, feeling unsettled in my heart. Don't tell me she's really an idiot. God damn it. One potential friend and they're stupid. <laughs> she looks so well dressed. She can't possibly be an, be an ignoramus living in a tree. <laughs> there is a noise outside. <laughs> Do you not hear it? The girl takes my hand and pull herself up before striding out. Senior. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Um. I can only hear her voice from inside the tree. I'm still very debating about whether or not I want the voices to say or not. <laughs> Wait. Am I... Am I hallucinating? Are there, um... It appears this game has certain, uh... Physics. That I was not aware of. I am now. I hurry out of the tree after that cocky girl. I can only... I can only see her standing there while looking ahead. Dumbfounded. This. Oh, Jesus. Instruction equipment? <laughs> this. I follow her gaze and gasp involuntarily as I break out in a cold sweat. A, t <laughs> a terrifying yellow dragon is roaring mightily, <laughs> producing continuous rumbling noises. In addition, black smoke is spewing from its tail and it can swiftly demolish any tree in its path with its with its head r r run hurry my legs have turned to jelly at the overwhelming sight of this frightening monster and i can barely muster my voice but my head is telling me to run dear god it's hideous run away <laughs> eh? stop that I grip my <laughs> 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 I 
I grip my teeth and tense my muscles. In one fell swoop, I grab the girl who doesn't know any better, turn around, and run away from the scary monster. We need to run away as quickly as possible while it hasn't responded yet. It's our only hope to survive. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I just... Oh no.